Hello everybody, um, today I'm making this video to uh, let everyone know that I'm going to start building a new uh, turbine and uh, in the past I just pretty much showed you the, the finished product and uh, from what I'm going to do on these I'm going to start from the beginning like the, the prototype or the small scale stage and try to, to go on from there and maybe uh, it'll help some people along the way uh, just show them, you know, step by step. So, uh, where I usually like to start, um, I went to a local Walgreens and got these prescription bottles that donated to me by a very nice manager, thank you Justin, for uh, donating these to me. And, um, the circumference of these are about six inches around, and they're, they're pretty sturdy, uh, but you can cut into them real easy. Um, I like to use a hacks on the ends and like a box cutter in the middle. So I'll talk about the turbine that I'm going to be building. I'm actually going to build one and it's going to sit like this. Now there's a, a few advantages to having a turbine like this. Um, this is going to be basically sitting on the top of your shed or your house. And I put three blades in here and I'll show you the, a close up in the, the next segment. And um, one advantage is it's going to be uh, mounted right on top of your uh, your roof, and it's going to be uh, cheaper because you're not going to have you know a big pole or a big stand in the middle of your yard, you know, with the guard wire, guide wires, excuse me, guard wires, guide wires, uh, you know, holding it down and everything. So it should be pretty secure, and you don't have a big pole or anything, and. I believe another advantage, it, it should stand freer because the weight is going to be distributed uh, better. Instead of having it like like this, where all the weight is on the bottom, you know, you're going to have it equally um, on both ends, so it's, it's way less weight on it. And so this is going to be sitting on, on top of the, the peak, and as the, the wind comes up, uh, in theory, anyway, it's going to catch uh, one of these three or all three of these uh, scoops or fins, uh, whichever you want to call it, and it's going to make it spin. So I have, right off the top, I have three options. First, I'm going to try a treadmill motor. I'm going to have it, uh, like a pulley system, I'm going to have it you know, here, then have the, the turbine motor there, and because it, it might be so light, I'm not sure how well that one's going to work. I can try one of the uh, ceiling fan motors and see if that doesn't work better. And if neither one of those are adequate for, for what I need, I'm going to go ahead and try to build my own stator and rotor. You know, the, the long copper wire, you just uh, line them up and then you use the... Uh, the uh, you know, the neo magnets on the other end. So when it spins, it creates an AC current, and then you just go ahead and um, I convert that to DC. Um, the other thing I'm going to try and do, I'm going to make this as cheap as possible. I'm going to use pails or buckets. The, the big ones you uh, see all over the road, you know, they're, you can see them, they're full of, you know, these are for paint, these are for pickles in restaurants. Just the, the big buckets, they seem to be everywhere. And if you can't find one for free, you can definitely go to a Lowe's or Home Depot, and I believe there are a few dollars for the buckets. You just have to, to buy the, the end there. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a close-up of this one. And uh, from then on, we're just going to go ahead and start the build one. Okay, so let me show you here. Just end up taking out the, that's just a chicken barbecue skewer in case you're wondering. And I'm going to go ahead and screw the top off. And on the inside, hopefully you can see, I had to use a hot glue to uh, close up the ends there. And as you can see, there's painter's tape. And the painter's tape just helped seal up the backs because I didn't go ahead and seal up the whole thing. So on the inside, uh, I basically took this one inch cut out here, cut that in half, so I had two 
half inch um, pieces of a prescription bottle here. So one I just glued to the inside on an angle, just a random angle. And there's also one right here. So you have this one, this one, and then that one. And you know there's uh, three blades and there's three of those on each. Okay. And uh seems to be, you know, pretty solid. And I just um found the, the spot at the center because these actually have like a dimple so you know where the, the ends are on these. So it's not a mystery to find the center on these. So I just went ahead and drilled a hole in each and you know, attach the top back on there and insert your uh, skewer there. I know it's actually upside down. And then it'll spin like that. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's spinning. Alright, so, you know, here's just a, a rough trial here. And I have the blades facing this way so as the, hopefully the wind comes up it'll catch into one or all of those and get spinning. And with this design though, unfortunately you do have to kind of kick start it. And once you get it started, it seems to flow pretty well. And it'll, it'll spin like that pretty easy. And if you actually move it you know, closer to the pan, it'll actually really start to, to cruise like that. And I have tried, actually really fast, and I have tried this design vertically, and it seems to work pretty well also. So in the future, I also might try to do, you know, one or two of these attached to each other, make it a nice vertical column, and try it. But if I uh, ever did make these vertical, I would definitely use magnetic uh, levitation, you know, put the the magnet would, you know, north on the bottom and then uh, face down so it'll, um, or facing the same, so it'll, you know, re repel each other. So anyway, that is uh, the first step and when I usually go to uh, make a turbine. So I decided I'd share that with you guys. Okay, as always, I appreciate watching the video. Take care and God bless.